Hello everyone, I'm Dia Patel from Iconic Design and I will take you through the tutorial of Handyman app. As you know, Handyman is the most beautiful and powerful product solution to launch your on-demand service platform faster and cost-effectively. And in this tutorial, we will see how you can deploy your website on the server. So let's just hop in a tutorial. Firstly, I will log in into the cPanel and after that i will click on the file manager and then in that you can see the public html file so here we will upload the file so just click on the upload and then select the handyman service package after uploading you will go back to the previous page and then you will find the zip file so we'll just extract it and make sure that you extract it in the public html file now we will uh, click on the handyman service folder and here you will find all the files and the folders but you won't find the .env file which I have already created so you will have to create the file and name it as .env and what you will do is you will copy all the content of this .env example file into the .env file. Now we will select all these files and folder and move it to the public HTML file. Now we will go to the cPanel and here we will click on this primary domain. After that you will find one error. This means that you have successfully transferred all your files to the server. So for that we will go to the cPanel and then we will go in the terminal. So here in the file manager you can see we have this public HTML file. So we will come back to our terminal. So for moving into the public HTML file we will type the command that is cd and file name that is cd public underscore html after that we will type another command that is the php rtn key generate for successfully generating the key so here you will find the message that a key has been successfully generated now after successfully generating the key we will go to our cpanel file manager and in that we will view the env file and here you can see that our app key has been set after that we will come back to our application page and after refreshing this page, you will find that you have another error that is access denied for the user. So now we will configure our user. For that, we will again go back to the cPanel file manager and in that we will click on the cPanel logo. Now we will select the MySQL database. So here you will find that there are no database associated with your account as well as there are no current user associated with this account. So for that we will again go back to our env file and here is the code for the database that we will make the changes. So here you will find the code that we will uh, change for the database. Uh, so for that we will again come back to the MySQL database and we will create one database and name it as handyman. Here you can see that our database has been created. Now we will add a new user. So for that I will give a username and also I will give a password and then click on create user. So here you can see that our user has been created. Now we will add the user to the database. So for that we will select the user and the database and then click on add. And then I will select all the privileges and give access to the user and then I will click on make changes. A message will appear as success. Then we will go back and after that we will copy the database name and then paste it into our env file. After that we will again come back to the mysql database page and then we will copy the username and then paste it into our .env file. Then I will change the password and then I will click on save changes. After that I will get a message as success. Now if you go back and you refresh the page then you will find the third error that the base table or view not found so now we will solve the third error so we'll again go back to the cpanel and then i will click on the cpanel logo here i will go into the php my admin and then here you will find our database created so i will just click on it and then you will find that there are no tables in here that's why we have this error so we will have to create a table for that so for that we will go to the terminal and then i will run this command after running this command, you will get a message as successfully database seeded. So after that, we will go to our application and then refresh it. Then you will find that all your errors has been solved and you will find this blank page over here. Then I will go to the PHMI admin and then I will again click our database that we have been created and then I will just select the category table. So in the category table you have all these categories listed but it is not shown in our website. So what we will do is, so we will go to the file manager and in that we will click on the public HTML file and in that we will 
go to the .env file as edit. So just click on the edit and here we will change the URL. So we will replace it by the handyman service URL that we have. So I will go to my website and just copy the URL and paste it in my code. Now click on save changes and then go back to our website and refresh it. You will find that all the categories have been replaced. Now we will configure the storage. So for that, we'll again go back to our terminal and then you will run this command. After running this command, you will find this message as the links have been created. After that, we will again go back to our website and then refresh it. So when you click on the login button, I will log in as the admin. So here I'm signing in as admin. So here you can see I am in the admin panel and in the sidebar menu you will find the category option. So in that you will have the category list so click on it and for adding the image you will just click on this add it and then I will just browse one picture from my PC and then just click on save. Now I will log out from the admin panel and again move back to my website and here you will find that our image has been added into our website. I will again log in as admin and then here if I scroll down I will go into the settings and in that I have the mail settings so I will click on this. Now you have the mail credential here. I will replace my mail credentials into this. So here I have the text file and I will just copy and paste it here and then I will click on save. After successfully saving, you will receive a message that uh, the settings have been saved successfully. After that, I will log out of the admin and go back to my website and refresh it. Now, if I click on the contact us, we will just check the demo if the mail is successfully sending to us or not. So for that, I will just give the first name and the last name and contact number, email and then my message and then just click on send. And finally, you will receive a message as successful. This is how you can deploy your project. We also saw how we can set a configuration file and also make the application key. And we also configured database. We also configured the storage and also the email. So now is the perfect time to launch your on-demand service platform with Handyman.